Wild for very much the same reason. So our job is to promote and to help them out wherever we can. One of the best ways we find of converting everybody into loving vultures is to give you the full vulture experience and, and bring them up really close. So <laughs> we're going to do that now. Ben and Rhea are on Team Vulture. They're going to head up to the arena. And if you watch very closely, the vultures know exactly what's happening. But as soon as Ben and Rhea make a move, the vultures are on their way. They're going to come in and join us to pick out their next victims. <laughs> <laughs> now it's all going to get quite exciting now, so ducking is absolutely essential. I would ask that if anyone stood up, if you could grab a seat please, and duck right down, that would be fantastic. Uh, because low flying is the game of the game. <laughs> <laughs> if there was anybody asleep in the sun on the back rows, they would have definitely rolled up by now. Uh, normally find we get the most uh, excitement throughout this part of the day. <laughs> Look at them fly, aren't they brilliant? And the lovely thing about vultures is that this is how you find them in the wild. They live together, they're incredibly gregarious, so they like being in groups, albeit they have got quite a strict hierarchy. So every now and again you'll see the odd fight and swabble on the wings from the vultures. And they're just putting each other in their place, and certain birds are older and in charge, and that's normally the way that it goes. We've got one coming out across the front row, who's this one? Keep clapping. Very low level, keep clapping. Keep clapping. Well done. If you look at them very closely, they have got a hood of feathering on the back of their head, hence the name hooded vulture, and that varies in colour depending on the age of the bird. So the older birds have got a white or a blonde hood, and the babies have got a brown hood. And we've got two sub-adults out here, two relatively young birds, that have still got the brown in their colour, so it's quite nice to have the age of the bird. Everybody's doing a great job of trying to pass the audience. Which Cassidy is here in the audience. What is he doing? He's all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> got a particular liking for bubblegum ice cream, it. but it's not good for him, so please don't do it to somebody across the front. I don't know if you noticed, but we're doing our best to take out every section of the audience, <laughs> so we give everyone that, that full experience. Okay, so they're doing really well. The more work they do, the lower they get, so they come to a point where we need to quit, so no one goes home wearing a vulture. Um, <laughs> so we're going to do, I think, a couple more flights, because we've got pretty much everybody over on the far side now. Look at that, a loitering with a tent. Wow, a bit of formation flow. <laughs> that is about as good as it gets. <laughs> and then we've got one more bag to bed over here. We've got one flying at a low level. This is Captain look, Thunderbolt. Look There's way. two females and five males. They're going to come. come, here they come, Fletch. There comes the last one. I'm sure they They've done a fab job of promoting vultures, which is what it's all about. So we're going to say goodbye to the hunting vultures.